Hello. Um, in this video, I'm going to discuss what happens you have too many instruments. In general, actually in general, in the, when you have an endogeneity problem, the major problem is that you don't have uh, instrumental variable or not enough instrumental variable. So finding one, like a, one instrument is really, really the biggest problem. So, so you just need to find one for one endogenous variable. Uh, but in some cases, in some cases, uh, in some in some fields, finding an instrumental variable is not a big problem. But the rather the problem is that you have too many of them. So having too many also causes another problem. So it's like kind of uh, a problem of having like a, like say I'm I have pain pain of being too rich something like that. Everyone is concerned about worrying about being poor, but say uh, like Jeff Bezos may be worried that he's too too rich something like that. Anyhow, think about this. The problem like so an example then when when can we have too many instrumental variables? So it happens. It comes sometimes. It happens when you describe competitions. Like so, for example, in the in uh, industrial organization or uh, international trade. And then, for example, let's think about a problem of uh, say you would like to analyze the effect of a baggage fee on the airfare. So on some airlines, some airlines charge like some some like a large large fee on the baggages but other airlines are more generous in accepting the baggages so they have different policies different strategies but obviously uh, like if you are more generous on baggage then uh, obviously the airfare will be higher to accept more baggages free on the other hand if you charge each baggage, that means if you take the airline without a bag, then you are you may pay lower price. So the price, uh, the price and the baggage fee are apparently correlated. They must be uh, correlated, and uh, then but the problem is they are endogenous at the same time. So you may set the baggage fee based on your uh, your. Your competency in the market, or your your price uh, uh, from the market, or because of the baggage fee, uh, uh, you are going to increase or decrease the price. So they they affect each other. So in this case, you need to have an instrumental variable uh, for your baggage fee, how your baggage fee is determined, or how the airfare is determined, and the typical. Typical uh, instrumental variables in this case is something like this. So, for example, uh, your price is determined by your competitor's price. Your competitor's price is uh, your uh, is what determines your main price. But baggage fee is not directly affected by your uh, competitor's price. If you assume that your competi competitor's price is will be an instrumental variable or another case here is say if you study the airline air flight flight between new york city and say uh, los angeles then this price is affected by the flight the, the price of new york city and chicago and chicago to los angeles right because it's a substitute so other routes, uh, like other routes, are also your competitors. So they, the the route, the information about, like say the route through Chicago or like other places, can be your instrument. In this example, in this example, uh, in this example, the problem is, in that way, you can generate a lot of instrumental variables. So you are, you would like to study the route between Los Angeles and New York City, but its alternatives, its substitutes are numerous, like uh, through Chicago or through like Texas or through Florida, wherever. So 
all of those could be uh, uh, could be your substitutes and then they could be your instrument in your analysis so then what is the problem as the sample size increases the number of instruments increases as you see more uh, more possible options so the the instrument available instruments include increase then the problem here is let me I did not use e equation here but let's go back to uh, this the fitted value approach first it is more intuitive to understand in the fitted value approach z number of z2 say increases to the infinity so the number of z2 is exploding to infinity and then the problem is then the problem is good thing here is good thing is the more the more variables you have in the instrument then you have a better variation so the variation on this part is the variation you are going to use in the analysis so the more instruments you are going to have more variation uh, you could use in the second stage however if the number of instruments goes to infinity then in the end there will be no no uh, residual there will be no residual in the end theoretically it happens all the time so so if the number of instrument increases to the infinity then x2 is as x2 equals to x2 hat so this part will be equal will be it explains everything will be equal to the original variable then the second stage does not filter out any anything right x2 hat equals to x2 so this equals to this then means you don't need to do the second stage or uh, the first stage at all the first stage equals to there is no difference so psi does not exist the residual the residual becomes zero so then there is no point of doing this which then it becomes even after even if you do the first stage regression still what you get will be the same regression model and you are going to get an OLS estimator right you so basically at the end you it is equivalent to ignoring the endogeneity problem because you do not filter out psi at all you cannot filter out anything so you are not doing anything so that's the problem it happens when the instrument uh, there are too many instruments and then of course it is purely like a theoretical problem as the as the number of instruments goes to, if the number of instruments is the infinity is infinite then then you are going to get uh, you the, the estimator the the estimation will be equivalent to the OLS in finite sample in, in in reality you are not going to get an infinite number of instruments still if you have too many instruments then your estimator will be like a no different from an OLS estimator so OLS estimator is the estimator that ignores the endogeneity problem so that does not consider the endogeneity problem so you are not doing anything to fix the endogeneity problem so in this case and another 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 uh, another approach to this here is say if you take if you take the the instrumental variable or uh, moment approach that means there are infinite number of equations for just say one or finite number of unknowns in this case you need to put weights or uh, you need to consider all the equations at the same time so then in the end that is equivalent to uh, so because there are too many there are too many um, instruments you cannot focus on you need to uh, think each equation seriously but you cannot do that it's like you are distributing you are taking care of infinite number of equations means you are not taking care of any of them so uh it's this is more just casually speaking and uh, just intuitively speaking uh, mathematical derivation will be
be the same like if you do the if you prove that uh, but the intuition is when you have when like so you don't want to lose any variation but in in the limit you are not filtering out any variation so which means you are not doing anything to fix the endogeneity problem so then in this case what can you do actually the problem like, it, it is not that difficult to fix when you have too many instrumental variables what you can do here is you may just drop some useless uh, instruments if you think some some of the instruments are useless drop them you need to drop them and uh, you may summarize those uh, the instruments like for example if you use competitors uh, baggage fees and if there are too many competitors you may simply use the average of them so if you have 100 competi competitors then you have 100 instruments but it could be too many then in that case just take average of them then uh, it becomes only one and using one instead of 100 could be more powerful so summarizing or dropping uh, so reduce the number of instruments which is not difficult it is possible because uh, when you are rich like uh, if you are concerned about being too much rich then it is easy throw away your money so the solution is easy rel relatively easy just but you need to understand what could happen if you have too many instruments okay uh we we are let's call it a day i think and uh we are going to uh discuss a dif different problem in the next lecture so uh, have a nice week and have a nice month it's march see you later bye